Jenny. Following up on Daphne's questions yeah. on um, Lebanon, has mm -hmm. the U.S. specifically warned Israel against striking Beirut? Yes, it's part of its response. I'm not going to speak to specific uh, diplomatic engagements, Jenny. Uh, first and foremost, let me just reiterate what I've said previously, is that Israel has a right to defend itself against terrorism. We are continuing to uh, engage and we're continuing to seek a durable diplomatic solution that ends uh, all types of cross-border fire and it makes it possible for those who are displaced on both sides to return home. That is uh, our priority. Does the U.S. consider striking Beirut with in the right to defend itself, given the potential for escalation. This is that that that's just a hypothetical, Jenny. We're not going to get ahead of that process. What we're focused on right now is engaging in a diplomatic conversation with both sides. Our priority is creating the conditions so that civilians on both sides of the borders can safely uh, return home. A number of carriers have canceled flights to Lebanon. How is the uh, State Department preparing to help U.S. citizens who might want to? So there? we have no higher priority than the safety and security of U.S. citizens overseas. Uh, our message to American citizens uh, in Lebanon continues to be that they should enroll in the Smart Traveler program so that they can re receive important messages about the safety conditions on the ground and other uh, considerations and factors uh, that they may have. Uh, we don't have any plans for uh, or an announcement as it relates to an evacuation or uh, uh, efforts for private U.S. citizens from Lebanon. I will also use this opportunity to remind folks that uh, as it relates to the travel advice warning for the entire country that continues to be at a level three and specifically southern Lebanon is at a level four commercial flights some of them continue to remain available uh, and so we encourage American citizens to look into those options uh, but in addition to uh, uh, enrolling in smart travel there's a number of other steps that we think that they can take um, they should make sure to have a plan in place uh, they should also make sure that their US passport is valid um, all of these things if they enroll in smart traveler and engage with um, our, our consular team, those are things that we can assist with and them on. And has there been any change in the posture at the embassy in terms of not. staffing or security? There is not.